All right, so Mark reviews how to's today. It has been a long, cold, long, did I say long, winter, and I have been dying to get back out on my bike. And while it's still early March, tomorrow is going to feel a lot more like spring than winter. On the weather, they said that it's supposed to be 62 degrees tomorrow, and I'm dying to get out on my bike. So there's nothing worse than coming out when you're ready to go for a bike ride and finding that you have flat tires or you know some part of your bike isn't working quite right, the brakes aren't, aren't pulling right. And that can happen over the course of a winter just staying in storage in your garage. So I haven't taken this out for two and a half months, probably since December. Uh, so I'm going to show you some quick things to check to make sure that you are ready. Um, some, some late winter, early spring bike maintenance. Okay, now my bike is atypical. This is a, at this point, like 12 year old, almost um, Raleigh bike. This is a mountain bike. And so this is a, a nice, thick, strong metal. Uh, this is not necessarily designed for road biking, but a good friend of mine donated to me his old slick tires. So these are as wide as, you know, a normal mountain bike tires would be. They use normal mountain bike inner tubes. Um, but they, they don't have that thick tread. It's a smoother tread. This helps me go farther and longer and faster, but uh, you know, they are kind of old. The sidewalls are cracked a little bit. So not the best bike by any means, but I'm going to show you quickly what you'll want to do. Now, if you're inflating your inner tube here, okay, Every inner tube and every tire sidewall is going to have the maximum PSI that something can take and um, you know it'll it'll be listed on your inner tube box as well what you're looking for but I know from now a couple of years of riding on this bike that my particular inner tube and sidewall can handle 80 PSI which is more than a typical bike would and less than some of your professional bikes would. So I can still use this hand pump. Now maybe I'll do a, a separate review on this pump at some point, but I like a pump that has a pressure gauge on it so you don't have to guess. And uh, just looking at this, I can see 68, almost 70 PSI, but not the 80 that I need. So I'm gonna give it a couple of pumps here. Okay, there you go. That looks a lot better to me, just a little over 80. So I'll pop this off. There you go, get a little pressure pop out. Okay, also a good idea, if you're gonna be a serious rider, to maybe take your bike in to a bike shop and get an actual tune-up done. Uh, my bike's looking pretty hammered, this chain is getting kind of rusty. It'll put some additional grease and lubricant in places like that and moving parts. Um, I will probably do that in a month or so. But for tomorrow, just a quick ride back out on my bike in the good weather. This is what I'm gonna do. Okay, another downside to my bike. I have no kickstand. So I'm using the wall stand setup where you have a couple points of contact with the wall and it holds it up pretty well. Okay, so I'm back up to 80 on both tires now. Put my caps back on. Okay, a couple of other things that I like to check. I want to make sure that all my gears and everything are spinning freely. The easiest way to do that is just pretend that you're riding it. Okay, so All right, so while that's spinning, I'm watching, I'm looking down from the top to make sure that I don't have a wobble to my, my tire. And I can see that the gear cassette is moving a little bit, but the tire itself is nice and straight. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing again, but this time with the purpose of checking my brakes. Okay, so get my pedal like I'm kickstarting a motorcycle. Okay, and while holding that up, pretty good. So it spins freely as it should. 
Uh, but see, I've discovered a problem. Because now that I've used my brakes once, this backside doesn't want to disengage. So then you'll want to play with the tension on your, on your brake pads and make sure that that's going to spin freely. Okay, front one and spin kind of manually or you can lift it. Right, that works just fine. And those ones retracted to where I wanted them to. Okay, lastly, and, and I'm going to come back and adjust my, my brakes off camera here because that'll take me a little bit longer. Uh, but lastly, even though I'm not really going out in the dark, I want to check and make sure that my lights are still working. Looks good. And I'll try my front now. Sorry, bike. There we go. Okay. So other than that brake that's giving me problems, all right, there we go. Other than the brake that's giving me problems, this bike is in good enough shape to go out on just a quick ride through the neighborhood tomorrow. Um, you know, maybe four or five miles, something like that. But uh, if I want to go on a long haul, I'm doing a couple of things. I'm, I'm really giving some attention to the brake on the back, making sure that it's doing what I want it to. And I'm going to take this in to a shop and get them to just make sure that everything's greased up and cleaned up. And you can see there's a lot of dust and grime and stuff from an entire winter in my garage. So for a serious ride, I would do a little bit more on this. Uh, for just a quick ride in the neighborhood tomorrow, I'm going to call that good. All right. If you like that how-to, um, let me know in the comments below. What do you do for your bike maintenance? I probably do far less than I should. I don't really care about this bike that much. Uh, I have hopes and aspirations of getting one that's a lot better and nicer. Um, still, I like to take care of my stuff, which is why I've had this for more than a decade. Um, and with just some simple maintenance, you'll be ready to go tomorrow. Like I said at the outset, nothing more frustrating than coming out. You're all dressed in your gear and you're, you have your helmet on and your, your Bluetooth headphones in and you're ready for a long ride and you come out and you have a flat tire because on your last ride you ran over a thorn and you didn't remember or didn't realize it. Um, so I always like to check my bike the night before, make sure that I'm ready to go first thing in the morning. Let me know in the comments below, what do you do? What do you like or dislike about bikes? Recreation and exercise, I'm a big fan and you'll see a lot more videos over the course of this spring and summer. Uh, related to biking and cycling and some of my favorite places that I go on my favorite bike trails around here. So, um, you know, a lot more to look forward to. Subscribe to this channel and make sure that you don't miss those things when they come up. And that'll do it. Thanks.